Hello, this is Liam, uh, also known as Praxis Maxis, and I'm here making a video today um, because this is a lot of people have asked us uh, about this, uh, our multi-school Minecraft server, which we have, and many people have asked us, what the heck is the multi-school Minecraft server? And rather than me describe it, I'm going to make a little video and uh, give you a tour of exactly what it is. So, um, as you can see here, we've got a sign. As I've said before, every server needs a sign, so I'm going to come down to our spawn point. Basically, the multi-school Minecraft server is a single Minecraft server that is hosted by the good people at Edge Lab at Ryerson University in Toronto. And it is a single server that is shared between, right now, four different schools, um, all within Toronto. Uh, the Toronto District School Board. So this is the starting area for the server and um, the way that it's set up it's like a single world but there each school has their own portal which you'll see here and uh, the portals will take the will take the students to their own turf their own area. I'm just gonna make it day here just like that. Um, and watch that skeleton burn. Sorry, I should have warned him about that. Good for him. He's going into the other, he's going to another school. So as you can see, uh, we have the four portals of the four schools. Each school is represented. And I'll give you a quick tour of how each, how it works. This is our central area. So basically, this is the idea is, is that this will be um, a common area where people can come and build and work together. We've got a few constructions already happening. We have a village over here, which uh, was pre-spawned right by the spawn point, which is awesome. And I'm hoping, I'm planning to put maybe a PvP arena around here so we can do a little uh, school versus school PvP. But let me take you first to, so basically the way it works is students from four different schools come in here and they play with their teachers during school and they step through the portal and they will be transported to their area. So this is the school Shoreham. And this is where the students that I teach, we play here. And this is the area that they've been working on. So the students, we play in creative mode, and we've basically just been having fun, uh, free play, doing whatever. There's no really goal or um, specific tasks that I have the kids do. With the tasks kind of originate organically. Like for instance, this building here, one of the students, this is grade four or five students, so one of the students was um, um, studying medieval times and she decided she wanted to build a castle. She wanted to build her home. So to, on that day, the, the group of us worked together to build a castle. So this is a small group of children that I play with. Um, there's six of us, or four of us that play actually in this group. Um, we're in a special ed class. So that student there wanted to build a castle that day. The other day one student discovered the train tracks and so he decided he wanted to build some tracks and this is a project in completion that looks like it recently met with a creeper which um, I'll have to do some explaining when he comes back on uh, next time we play um, but we are thankful we're hopefully looking for other school other school boards to join us um, let's see where am I gonna go I'm gonna go to Highland Heights this is another school and these guys have done a lot of fun stuff as well here are some of the builds that the kids at Highland Heights have done a lot of cool houses so yeah so the students um, were really interested in having them um, work together, build together, um, and then connect with other students from other schools around the world. So if you're a teacher and you're looking for a server that you'd like to have your students explore, um, visit us at gamingedus.org and fill out the whitelist request and we'll meet and we'll chat and we'll tell you more all about it. Um, and you can come and play on this server and we'll take care of all the technical backend stuff and you can just open up Minecraft and play it with your students and have a blast doing some really cool learning. So yeah, that's a quick tour of the basics of the multi-school Minecraft server.